from telling lies That is how we stay alive mm. So you know that I don't Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are cleaning the whole house and in full transparency, I haven't really deep cleaned many areas in my home since baby Hudson was born almost four months ago. So it definitely shows and you will see. But if you are new, my name is Allie. I have three kids ages four and under. My husband and I work from home and we live in Virginia. And I am passionate about helping moms manage mom life better. So here on my channel, I share videos on our routines, cooking, productivity, and of course, tons of cleaning motivation and cleaning tips, just like you'll see today. So if you are not subscribed yet to my channel, I'm so happy that you're here today. And I would love for you to go ahead and subscribe and join our YouTube family. And also you can go ahead and head over to Instagram and follow us there as well at Allie underscore Gooch. So before we really dive into this video and get too far, I do want to mention something really exciting that is happening this week. I have created a program on how to manage mom life better and have a peacefully productive motherhood. And I'm launching that today. So I created this program because I used to be a mom that tried really hard, but I couldn't get anything done. And I was always tired and stressed and I wondered what was wrong with me. But after spending years in this cycle of burnout, lots of yelling and honestly depression, I said enough was enough and I figured out ways of doing mom life better. So in this program, I share my best systems and methods that have helped me going from being a hot mess and having a hot mess motherhood where I struggled to get anything done and I felt like a failure to having a peacefully productive motherhood where I still have time to do the things I love. So like I said, I'm launching this program today and it's only available to join for the next seven days. So do not wait to join. Also, this Wednesday, May 19th, I am hosting a live webinar and I'm gonna be teaching you how to be 10 times more productive by just doing one thing. And I'll also be sharing more of my story, some of the mistakes I've made and secrets I now use to help me be a rock star, productive mama with time still to enjoy life. And there's also gonna be time for a Q&A. So the link to sign up for this webinar is in the description box below. Please sign up. I would love to see you there and hang out with you live. Again, the webinar is Wednesday, May 19th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you haven't joined to receive my newsletter emails, you can also find the link to join those below as well. And those emails are always packed full of helpful information. All right, let's go ahead and jump into this cleaning video now. I'm starting in our master bedroom because it was the worst room in the house. I told you guys it's been a while since I've cleaned in here and I've cleaned in here. I just hadn't really deep cleaned and I hadn't moved furniture and really dusted. And so that's what I'm doing today. And I don't know why I have so many water bottles. We really don't drink that many water bottles, but they all found their way under <laughs> our bed. I'm starting by dusting everything. I've already changed out the sheets on my bed. I like to do that whenever I clean my room. That way everything is all clean at one time and there's definitely no better feeling than getting into a bed with clean sheets. And I like to clean my rooms from top to bottom. That way if when I'm dusting, if anything falls to the ground, I can pick that up with the vacuum cleaner at the very end. You also saw me putting away some baby stuff. Hudson is now sleeping in his own room upstairs and it's kind of bittersweet putting the newborn baby stuff away because that means that those teeny tiny newborn days are over. So I still, I was actually procrastinating and waiting as long as I could to put those baby things away, but it is time. And the last thing that I'll need to put away is his bassinet, but I'll do that on a different day. To clean everything, I am just using my Thieves Household Cleaner Concentrate from Young Living and a microfiber cloth. I'm losing myself 
Just hope that we're still okay. You always pick me up and let me down. We're spinning around, losing our minds. Then if we do, then if we don't, then if we give in what we want. And I always pick you up and let you down. We're spinning around, losing our minds. Then if we do. I thought since my room was all nice and clean, I would put some essential oils in the diffuser to make the room smell really fresh. And I looked up a recipe on Pinterest and found one for snickerdoodle cookies. So I thought that sounded yummy and delicious. So I put in some cinnamon, stress away, nutmeg, and patchouli, and it smells super good. The vacuum cleaner that I'm using is our LG vacuum. I love this one. It runs forever because it has two batteries. So if you're using one, you can be charging the other and then just switch it out when one dies. They run for about 40 minutes each battery. We never go through both at one time. It's a really great vacuum cleaner and we've had it for probably over a year now and it's still working really good. Cleaning the house definitely took all day long because I have three kiddos and they needed me a lot, especially this little guy. He is nursing, so I feed him about every three hours and try and put him down for naps in between that. So lots of baby breaks, but I wouldn't have it any other way. I liked that diffuser blend that I had put in our bedroom so much that I went ahead and put it in some other diffusers in our house, including this one that I have in our kitchen. Did I? 
This picture in my closet It's gathering dust right now And the edges have been folded once or twice It doesn't look the same no more Cause the sun has made it pale I used to have it hanging on for the stainless steel appliances in my kitchen, I'm using this Wyman stainless steel cleaner. I've been using this one on and off for years. I've tried so many different products. I've also tried some natural or non-toxic products to clean stainless steel. And honestly, nothing works quite as good as this Wyman's one. As I was cleaning, I noticed so many smudges and just dirt spots all on little kid level around my house, on walls, on cabinets and things like that. So as I was cleaning, you know, a certain area in my house, if I saw a really bad area that just needed to be wiped down, I went ahead and did it. And this spot right here at like the bar area definitely needed to be wiped down. There was coffee spilled on it and just all kinds of little hand smudges and I thought to myself I could be frustrated that every wall in my house is dirty but one day I know I'm gonna miss seeing these little tiny smudges from little tiny people so I'm gonna try and not be as frustrated with the mess and try and cherish these little moments because I know one day I'll miss it 
It's a shame that my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me. But this time, this time, girl, I know what's bothering me. I need somebody to love. Oh, na 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 na. Don't you see what's wrong with me? I need somebody to love. Oh, oh na na. I don't know what I could say to convince you to hang around when you don't have to. There's so much that I'm still keeping to myself. My heart starts racing, but I don't know if I like this chasing and playing and waiting around. It's a shame that my hands start shaking all of the time when you're around me. But this time, this time.
I'm not sure where the stain came from, but this chair is really new and today I just noticed that there was this big old black smudge on it. I don't know what it is, where it came from, but I have been successful at getting ink stains out of furniture with rubbing alcohol. And so I, since I didn't know what this was and I didn't really know any other way to get it out, I went ahead and tried the rubbing alcohol. It didn't do perfect. It didn't get it all the way completely out, but it did make it look so much better. Don't know how to cope with being so broken. Girl, I can't forget about what we said. I just want to love you a little bit more. Don't just walk away from me and close the door. Baby, pull me closer now before it's over. I just want to love you. This was a really fun room to clean because we are in the process of potty training that little two-year-old that you saw just a second ago. He's our middle baby Oakley and we're potty training him. So as you can imagine, this bathroom, which is the bathroom that he mostly uses, is pretty gross. So I thought it was time to give it a good deep clean, wipe down all of the toilet seats, the kid toilet seats, step stools, the floor, literally everything. Um, and I even, you'll see me in just a minute, I will get down on my hands and knees and sp I sprayed it with that Thieves Household Cleaner Concentrate and just wiped it down with a paper towel. I thought that was better than trying to bring the mop in here and I also was able to ensure that I get a really good clean on that floor. To clean the inside of the toilets, I like to use the Clorox toilet ones. I love how convenient they are. Nothing is gross. I don't have to touch anything. The heads are disposable and I don't know, it's just really easy and convenient. So I've been using these for a couple years as well and I really like them. Doesn't even make sense why I think about you. It was only one night, only that time, and it's not my style to be caught up in the middle like this. Cause now I dream about you. I was probably too drunk, it's blurry, but I've got the image of you running circles in my mind right now. And it could fade away, but it probably won't. I should let it be But I'm gonna dive Dive into you And maybe I'll drown But what can I do? And it would be alright To let me down Rather we try than let these feelings slide The last thing on my to-do list Is to tackle Emmy's bedroom She's my four-year-old and she does quiet time in her room every day while her little brothers are sleeping and taking their naps for the day. So quiet time is sacred in our house. It has to happen that way. I have some time to either rest myself or get some things done that I need to without kids around. So Emmy is allowed to play in her room or she can take a nap if she wants to. Most days she does not take a nap and she will choose to play she's able to do whatever she wants to in here as long as she's not destroying anything or being too loud so she has lots of toys sometimes she will even you know take some of her clothes out of her closet and play dress up I think all of that is fine but it does make for a lot of mess so Emmy does help me clean up a lot but some days I just need to get in here and do a really good deep clean myself so that's what I'm doing today 
um, and I also really needed to vacuum and dust in here. Emmy's room is one of my favorite rooms in the whole entire house. I love the decorations, the whole feel of it. And I actually did a video where I took you guys with me when I decorated her room. So if you haven't seen that video, I will link it in the description box for you guys to check out after you're done watching this video. It doesn't even make sense why I think about you. It was only one night, only that time, and it's not my style to be caught up in the middle like this. But I'm gonna die. So that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for being here and hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so. We would love to have you be a part of our YouTube family. You can also follow us on Instagram at Allie underscore Gooch. And do not forget, the live webinar is this Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's completely free, so go ahead and click the link in the description box below to sign up for that. I cannot wait to hang out with you guys live on that webinar. And then if you have not joined my email newsletter, go ahead and click that link in the description box below to sign up for those. Those emails are always packed full of super helpful information that I think you guys are going to love. And I think that is it. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.